Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is about how the polarimeter works. If you want to skip to any particular section of this video, you can do so by clicking the timestamps found in the description section below. Please also make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video as this helps our channel out a lot. Okay, let's get to the video. A polarimeter is an instrument used to measure the optical rotation of plane polarized light. Optically active substances, such as chiral compounds, rotate plane polarized light. This rotation is unique to specific compounds and therefore plays a key role in chemistry, pharmacy, and other related fields. The polarimeter is used to determine the concentration, purity, and specific rotation of chiral compounds. Here's how the polarimeter works. The polarimeter begins with a light source that emits unpolarized light. An example of this is a light bulb. Unpolarized light contains light waves vibrating in all different directions. This light is then passed through a polarizer. A polarizer filters out all light waves except those vibrating in a single plane. This creates plane polarized light. The plane polarized light then passes through a sample cell containing the substance that we want to test. If the substance is optically active, it will rotate the plane polarized light. If a compound rotates the plane polarized light in a clockwise direction, it is labeled with a plus and is called dextrorotatory. If it rotates plane polarized light in the counterclockwise direction, it is labeled with a negative or a minus and is called levorotatory. After passing through the sample, the rotated plane polarized light enters an analyzer. The analyzer is mounted on a rotating platform. The platform allows the analyzer to be turned around on its axis. By rotating the analyzer, you can change its alignment relative to the plane of the polarized light entering it. And behind the analyzer, there is a light sensor. This sensor detects the intensity of light passing through the analyzer. The angle at which the light passes through completely is then measured. This angle is recorded as the observed rotation of the plane polarized light passing through the chiral sample. The observed angle along with the concentration of the sample and the length of the sample cell is used to calculate the specific rotation of a chiral substance. The specific rotation is a standardized value that represents the optical activity of a substance. It is calculated using the observed rotation, the concentration of the sample, and the path length of the sample cell as was noted before. Specific rotation is a standardized measure and therefore it allows for comparison of optically active substances. It helps scientists to identify and characterize chiral compounds. The specific rotation is calculated using the following formula. The large alpha letter denotes specific rotation. The smaller alpha letter denotes observed rotation. C is for concentration and L is for the length of the sample cell. And that concludes this video. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please make sure to like and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video. Bye.